to talk about the last half of the Bure in E minor from Johann Sebastian Bach's Lute Suite. I'd done a video previously on the middle section. Here I thought we'd look at some of the voice leading ideas and progression ideas and break some of this down and see it not just from a position of fingering memorization, but from actually hearing and knowing what these chords are. So I'm not going to be teaching the, the arrangement of fingerings. It's going to be looking at the pitches and what the implication is. So we, we went from, um, that's where I left off the last video. I'll put a link in the description below. So here's B7. To E major, so five, one. And we're gonna walk down through E to D to A over C sharp. So A in first inversion. Seven, seven, seven. Here's an E chord at seven and nine. A D chord at 10 and 11 with nine behind. Then a first inversion A chord with C sharp in the bass. First inversion means the third is in the bass. This is frets nine and 10. Alternate fingering for symmetry's sake, E up here, 12 and 13, then 10 and 11, 9 and 10, this is A7, 5th fret, 5th fret of the 6th and 2nd strings, reaching out to the flat 7. So really A7 in shorthand there, eighth fret. And now if we want the symmetry, it's the exact same fingering. G over B. So this was D, C, eight and nine, going to seven. C and E, a tenth, backing up to C and D expectantly. First inversion G chord, third in the bass. So B and G, seven and eighth fret. Now we need G7. So sixth string, second string, third fret, and we're gonna reach out to the seventh, sorry, the sixth fret to the flat seventh of G, so G7, we're going to resolve to C. So, so far, E, D, A, A7, D, C, G, G7, C. Now this strikes me as a B suspension. So from C, that's eight and nine. And now we got B in the bass, seventh fret, A on the second string, 10th fret, with E here on the ninth fret, third string. That's how I'm hearing it is as B sus. get this, to me it looks like an inversion of F sharp minor, the root on the 7th fret and the minor 3rd 1st inversion on the 5th fret of the 6th string. And then we do go to we do go to F sharp minor here, so from C. Seven. 
two and two reaching out. So, so far we've had uh, A7, G7, and now F sharp minor. Two and two reaching out to five, which if we were to keep that note there would be B7 sus. solid little B major chord, probably implying B7. Then we get a run, which I take to be out of A harmonic minor, because we're leading. We could think of it as B7 flat 9 descending, flat 9 root, flat 7, but then the leading tone of A G sharp. So it, this looks like A harmonic minor to me. So now we have the five of A minor. So E7 in first inversion. shape we've used all along. Four, four, and five. Then a very useful voicing. A root, a fifth, and a minor third on a split string set. Six, four, three. The frets are five, two, five. Then we get this A minor kind of becomes a two chord going to five. This would be D, first inversion, four, two, three. And a little, like what I'm taking to be G augmented. That leading tone is gonna go up to the note E, if you've listened to a lot of George Gershwin. You'd hear those kinds of sounds. So I'm going to call that G augmented. It could also be seen as a G tenth, followed by a, a B chord. But I think G augmented is okay. Now this is C over E. So a C chord in first inversion. Seven five five. Now F sharp minor. This is two and two and four. F sharp A C sharp. And I hear a little melodic minor ma action happening. looks like kind of a subtle kind of uh, A, A over C sharp, B over D sharp, E minor, but it's F sharp, you could say 2, 5, F sharp minor, B over D sharp, and now E minor with our low E string and the minor third up here. Then some real organ kind of harmony. So this is fifth fret and fourth fret of the sixth and fourth strings with E in between A and F sharp. I almost hear this as First inver uh, sorry, third inversion B chord. Could also be F sharp minor, I suppose. In first inversion, two five to B major. 
So we have a third here, B and D sharp on the seventh and sixth fret of the sixth and fifth strings. Now what do we got? We back out. Yeah, I'd say F sharp minor over A, two chord, five, seven, six. I like to linger on these. kind of a one chord, E minor over B, which becomes B7. Finally resolving home. sharp, E minor, F sharp over A, B, F sharp over A, E minor over B, B7 to E minor. I hope this has given you some inspiration, a little insight into what these chords are, aside from just being fingerings and arrangement that you might have learned. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, please do leave them in the comments. If you can share and like these videos, share them with people that you think might be interested, I would greatly appreciate it. And I do appreciate your kind attention and wish you a very good day.